What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today's Monday, August 3rd. Before we jump into the markets, don't forget this Thursday, August 6th at 4 p.m. Central Time. Day Trading Options for Income, our day trading class. Just go to navigationtrading.com slash day trading dash registration. It'll bring you to this page here. Just put your name and email, save your spot. We already have over 800 people signed up, so we're getting close to that thousand limit. So if you have not registered yet to save your spot, make sure you do so. Again, that's August 6th, 2020 at 4 p.m. So just a couple days away. Super excited. We're going to be teaching our number one day trading strategy, the Mighty 90. Uh, how we place trades that win over 70% of the time. We only trade the first 90 minutes of the day after the market opens, so you're not stuck in front of your computer all day. Exact turning points in the markets. A simple buying of calls and puts, no spreads, no complicated trade adjustments. Uh, we're going to teach you how to trade this in a small account and the pattern day trader loophole that allows unlimited day trades regardless of your account size. So Make sure you can make it. Do whatever it takes to get there. It's it's going to be a real game changer for you. I almost positive, regardless of your level, whether you're a beginner, advanced, expert, whatever it is, you're going to love this. So make sure you're there. Navigationtrading.com slash daytrading dash registration and uh, get signed up. So results from just today, for example, made $1,239. And here are the different things that we traded. So we're only trading the most liquid symbols out there. We've got Apple, Amazon, Boeing. My only loser of the day was this $20 loser. And it was nothing but a mistake on my part. I was going to, I was, I was looking at that trade. I put it in an order and then it, it never got filled and it went against. And I just completely forgot to close my order. And next thing you know, I get a, I get a chime saying that my order was filled. And I was like, ah, oh, I meant to cancel that. So I just got out of it right away, lost 20 bucks. But that was the only loser. The rest were all winners. A couple of nice winners in Zoom and... Amazon and the others were were fairly small, but I'm trading super size small. One thing I did today, just in anticipation of the class and, and in teaching, because I know a lot of people are going to want to start small, is I, I'm looking at symbols like Uber, which is a tiny stock, Qualcomm, Disney. These are low price stocks that you can do in any size account. You know, when you're first starting out, you're probably not going to do Amazon or Tesla because those are those are big boys. Uh, it takes a little bit more buying power, uh, some more risk you'll get there but but even just starting with the smaller ones i mean i mean look at these i didn't i didn't do any i mean i think let's see on, on tesla and uh amazon i think i had about three thousand dollars in play of buying power on those ones but the rest were anywhere between a thousand and two thousand dollars in buying power per trade and i only had you know a couple of these on at a time so maybe four or five thousand dollars of buying power used at any one time today and generated over 1200 bucks so pretty good stuff. You know, that was today. If we look at, you know, Friday made 731, Thursday 421, uh, 9750. So just great, great performance and can't wait to share this with you. So with that, let's jump into the charts and talk about what happened in the markets today. Big rally uh, again, S&P's up 25, Dow up 242. I guess I shouldn't say big rally. This is just kind of a normal rally for these days. Uh, NASDAQ up 163, Russell up 24, oil up a little bit, gold up a little bit, gold and silver continuing their climb higher. And Natty Gas, big move in Natty Gas up over 16%. We were dead centered in our premium selling strategy on this one. And now we're not quite as centered, but still okay. So that's what's going on in the overall markets. If you look at the look at stocks, I mean, kind of the two major sectors that we're really focusing on, tech and financials. Tech up today, financials down a little bit. And then we've talked a lot about travel and, and leisure. You know, you get booking.com down. Amazon was actually down, even though most of tech was up. So Amazon taking a little bit of a breather, but financials down. Uh, you could see some of these others, but for the most part, a lot of green on the screen. So what's coming up in earnings announcements? Well, we've got uh, nothing really after the bell today. Tomorrow, after, and, and really no notables for tomorrow before the market opens, but after the bell tomorrow, we've got Beyond Meat, we've got Disney, we've got Twilio, and we've got Win. So four nice ones that we'll be taking a look at potential trades on. 
tomorrow. And then Wednesday after the close, you've got Roku. And that would probably be the only one i trade there. And then I know booking is this week. Uber is on Thursday. And I know booking is this week, but I'm not seeing it on my list here. I'll have to double check to see when that was. Anyway, some good stuff, some more good earnings coming up this week and next. So look forward to trading those. Hope everybody has a great evening. Don't forget to register for the day trading class. Talk to you then. See ya.